Just like an old church that once was a place where people came Sunday after Sunday and was a vibrant center of that community, sometimes in our relationships things can get so bad and so out of repair that it almost seems like we're at a blockage or an impasse where there's no way forward. There's no situation to resolve the conflict that we can even see. And I've got some thoughts about that today. You know, uh, in a situation like that, where no matter what you've tried, no matter who the person is, maybe it's a spouse, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a, a child or a sibling, no matter who it is, you, you just try this and it doesn't work. And you try that and it doesn't work. And no matter how much you try to have a conversation or understand that person or dialogue with that person, and you just feel like, it's, it's broken and it can't get better. It can't get fixed. What do you do? What do you do when your relationships have fallen apart so badly that there seems to be no hope and no path forward? I have a thought about that. So there's a story in the Bible uh, that is familiar to a lot of people, the story of Daniel and his three friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These four young men were slaves in a foreign kingdom uh, where the king, the bad king Nebuchadnezzar, had selected them along with some other new young slaves to uh, become his servants and serve him in very special ways. And so while this was a good assignment, it, it, it's still a very difficult situation. You I mean, you're still a slave, you're still in bondage, um, you're still under the power of a foreign king. Uh, this, is not, uh, this is not a good situation at all for, for Daniel and his three friends, but you know, um, even being selected like that, they, they came up to a situation, a conflict that seemed to be unresolvable, a, a situation that there was no way out of. And that was that they were forced to eat things that were against their dietary laws, that would violate their relationship with God. And, and the way they were being told to do this is that you need to eat this way so in, order, in order that you can be strong and healthy and, and compete with the other young men that are being assigned. And if you get weak, uh, during this process, then, then I, as the commander here, I'm going to get in trouble. So no, you have to eat what I'm telling you to eat. But Daniel and his three friends said, yeah, but if we do that, we're going to violate God. We're going to defile ourselves, and that's worse. And so Daniel has an idea. He says, hey, give us 10 days. Feed us only vegetables and water. And if we're not looking better than all the rest of the guys, then you can do whatever you want to us, and we will obey. But he put his conflict, he put his tension, he put this issue of being defiled by, by the food of this foreign kingdom uh, in God's hands. He put his faith in God's hands and said, okay, God, uh, we can't eat this stuff, but there's no way out of this problem because we have no ability to control this. And, and yet he was able to come up with this idea, 10 days of vegetable and water, if we're not looking better, you can do whatever you want to us. He put his faith in God, he put his faith in action. And 10 days later, later, the Bible tells us that the captain of the guards that was over this uh, delegation of slaves said, wow, you guys look better and fatter than all the rest. We will stay with your plan. So how did that work out? How did that resolve? God took an unresolvable situation and because they put their trust in him, he worked it out. And we have to think about our conflicts and our unresolvable matters in the same way. We've got to turn to God when there's no other place to go and say, God, I need your help. Please do something that so we can trust him and he will do it. I'm not saying this is going to be easy. It's certainly not easy for me. It won't be easy for you. When you're in a situation where this just doesn't seem a pathway forward, there's conflict, there's total shutdown of the relationships, total shutdown of the conversation, of the dialogue. You know, that's when we turn to God and we trust Him. And rather than having a conversation with our opponent or with the person we're in conflict with, we have a conversation with God. We talk to Him and we pray and we say, God, this situation is out of my control. I don't know how to fix it. And you hand it over to Him. The great Proverbs tells us that we're to trust God with all our heart and lean not on our own understanding, but acknowledge Him in all our ways and He will make our path straight. He made Daniel's path straight. Path straight. He, he gave Daniel a way out and he miraculously met the need that through vegetables and water, he and Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego were stronger than the other young slaves and it worked out perfectly. 
So you and I have to learn how to talk with God when our situation uh, can't be fixed by our own human abilities. We have, a, have a, we have to have a conversation with Him and trust in Him that He will make things right. And that's a conversation worth having.